Today we're going to talk about a couple of tips for drip irrigation installation. Um, number one, I, I cut off the tips of my gloves, my rubber gloves. Not all of them because I use these to, to push sometimes when I can't get a grip otherwise, but um, you might find it helpful too if you're going to be doing hundreds or dozens of um, installation. You want to have your fingers so you can feel what you're doing. But today I want to show you different hole punches and which ones not to use and a couple of tips about them. So first I'm going to uncover this main line here because drip irrigation is meant to be covered so because the sun can really damage over time your, um, your irrigation and actually create holes in it over a long period of time. Plus it's unsightly to see your drip irrigation lines. The whole point is to have them hidden so you just see your flowers and your plants. Um, usually you'll see that people have used this type of hole punch and they punch a hole in the top of their main line which is not a great idea and it's not industry standards. If you take an emitter like this and put it right into the main line, you're gonna step on it or deer are and they're gonna break it off. And then you have a problem that you have to fix. Uh, industry standards is that the hole gets punched on the side and then your tubing comes from the hole punched on the side. If you try to use one of this type of hole punch, it's not going to succeed very well. It's very hard to put the hole on the side. This is the type I use. It's a tong type and I buy this from Wyatt Irrigation here in Santa Rosa. W-Y-A-T-T -T apostrophe S, Wyatt's Irrigation. And I'm going to show you how to punch the hole but first I'm going to talk about this for a second because when you first buy them and they're new, um, it's hard to get this industry that makes these little connectors is not talking to this industry that makes this hole punch. So when you go to, you pop a hole in your main line and then you can insert this, in, this connector using these tongs. But they don't just slide on the brand new ones anymore like they used to. So you're going to have to file this a little bit without making it too brittle. You just want it to be able to... This is the one I've been using for years. You want this to be able to slide right on. Now, the industry hasn't been talking to each other and keeps getting smaller and smaller holes on these connectors. So one side doesn't fit and one side does fit. Do you see that? So it needs to be able to slide on and off easily. If you have to force this connector onto this hole punch, it's not going to come off once you punch it into the main line. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to, first I'm going to nestle this back part in. I don't know if you can see that, it's a little dark. And then I'm going to punch the hole so that it's coming out the side, not out the top. So I've punched the hole and pull it straight out, no wiggling, because you don't want to make that hole bigger, it'll create a leak. So then, I have to flip this over. Okay, so the side that went on easily goes on easily. And now, push the connector in first into that hole and hold it there while you snuggy up the back side of the tong you hear that nice click. Now hold on to the connector, and you'll get faster at this as you go along, but don't just try to pull this off of the connector. Hold on to the connector and slide this off, and you're ready to put your tubing on there. This has been a short from the Gardening Tutor.